This is Paul at Down East Under Creations. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy the video. So here's where the mailbox is now, and I'm thinking about moving it closer to the driveway. So coming back about maybe, oh, 15 feet, I've got another couple of trees here. It's right near the corner of the driveway. Here's the drive here. And I can stretch a board across, maybe a two by four, have it stick out with a little bit of an extension, a little bit of an angle, but still out to the road here. Those two trees that would line up, I don't know if you, they come out well on this uh, video or not, but anyway, when I start construction, you'll see. And then I can set it at the proper height. So we'll relocate the mailbox as well as put a new uh, member to uh, hang the mailbox from. Well, many of you that live in cities and suburbs, this may not seem like a very important uh, subject. And uh, you may not think it's really much of a big deal. But when you live in a very rural area, it is. Uh, you go into the suburbs and you see people that have their mailboxes on permanently mounted posts set in concrete or in buckets with weights on them or, or something of that nature. Usually posts in the ground, they're stationary, they don't move. But here in Down East Maine and other areas where it's very rural, uh, you have a high, well you're at a higher latitude where you have a lot of snowfall. Um, and we do get a lot of snowfall, there are people that don't think we do, but Trust me, we do. Uh, normally we do, anyway. Well, when the plows come through, if you had your mailbox <clears throat> in a stationary position, the plow was just going to take it right out. End of story. It's gone. And so, typically, we suspend our mailboxes from up above on a chain. You know, they can swing. This is necessary because sometimes, even with the plow at a lower height, the, uh, the snow just builds up on the plow and so it'll still tag that mailbox but it's on a chain and it'll swing out of the way. So for the most part the mailboxes are safe and they're okay but you really have to set them up like this. You just can't put a post in the ground right at the mailbox close to the road because uh, it won't last. So our old, uh, our old uh, system we had a branch that we had nailed a couple of trees uh, while well, we had a post that we sunk in there and well it finally gave up the ghost and after a while they rot so every few years you have to kind of redo this and that situation normal nothing special nothing out of the ordinary and so uh, I mean we've been here for almost 20 years and I rebuilt that one a couple of times but I didn't replace it just rebuilt it uh, when it needed it needed another branch or whatever uh, this time I've got a whole new system. I didn't spend a lot of money. The wood I used, well, the 2x4 is from, uh, that's from a long pallet that somebody threw out that I was able to get for free. And so I just used that 2 by. I had a scrap piece of, uh, of white cedar left over from, uh, from a kitchenette thing I did a while back. And so uh, that has high rot resistance, so I used that for the extension piece. I reused the existing chain that I had on the old system. I just bought some new, uh, these new uh, hook screws, or screw hooks, whatever you want to call them. That's all I had to do. And so now we're good to go. I have a couple of problems that I have to deal with here. Uh, first of all, Shop Hill Road, this is the road that we live off of here in Millbridge, Maine, was a gravel road for the almost 20 years that we've been here. It was the last road that was, the uh, town road that was gravel in the town. And then, oh, a couple of weeks ago, they came by and they paved it. And we never expected it. We had no idea they were gonna do that. So 
Postal regulations call for a height, I believe, of around, oh, 41 inches. But now, the uh, 41 inches is up around here, which means this has to be raised. The, the, uh, the mailbox is now too low because when they paved the road, the road uh, level came up. The other problem is that this branch that's holding up the mailbox is all rotted. This post is sagging. Uh, it's rotted at the base. Uh, it's all coming apart. This chain used to come out to here. That end just brought, tip just rotted right off. So all of this has to be changed. This has to come up higher, and we need all new uh, structure here to hold on to it. But this tree isn't uh, doing a very good job, and where it used to be secured further back, that all came apart. It was all rotted. So I have to come up with another solution. So the two trees I was referring to is this one here, and this one back here. I can put a board going, uh, two by four going straight across and uh, out to the road area.
So, <laughs> I hope you liked the video. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't, ring the little bell. All those good things. You know what to do. Leave a comment in the comment section. How do you set up your mailbox? I'm curious to know. Hey, thanks again for watching. Much appreciated. Well, folks, thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. Please remember to subscribe, like, share. And if you do subscribe, remember to ring that little bell so that you can be notified of any new videos that are released. And thanks again for watching.